Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's broadcast of Mox League of Legends. Mox of Florida Southern will be taking on the Griffins of Missouri Western State University in this Peach Belt Conference matchup week two of the Peach Belt season. For League of Legends, both of these teams are 1-0, competing for a chance at the in-person playoffs in the middle of March. The winner of the conference tournament will advance into the national bracket. Top 32 teams. Last week, Florida Southern had a pretty good, pretty good, pretty good outing, and obviously Missouri Western did as well. Last week, Florida Southern took on Columbus State. Cool, fun. Won that best of three series two to zero with two very quick games. Oh, no. Look to do the same this week against this Missouri Western squad. <gasps> Missouri Western last week in a thriller of a series, barely inched out over the University of Montevallo. They finished that series two to one, taking the win. And now we go through this draft process, see which champions each team's taking. Both teams did perform this draft right before this using an online tool. And now they're just kind of running through it. Uh, 50 seconds here and then we will have a spectator delay of three minutes and then we'll hop in and watch this game number one this is a best of three series peach belt conference action florida southern college against missouri western state university A little bit about Missouri Western. They have an enrollment of about 5,000 students. They are in St. Joseph, Missouri, which is near Kansas City. Their mascot is the Griffins. And they compete in a couple different game titles in eSports. Today we get to see their League of Legends squad. As we get ready to sit in this spectator delay, we are going to be right back. I'll be right back when this uh, spectator lay runs out.
All right, we are in here. Game number one, Florida Southern College versus Missouri Western State University. We've got Florida Southern College on the blue side. As we see Paramore on champion named Bard. 30 seconds until minions spawn. If you're new to League of Legends, League of Legends is a fun and exciting game. It's in a, it's the part of a, a genre called a MOBA, massive online battle arena. It's a 5v5 game with the objective of basically taking objectives across the map to earn gold and then use that gold to buy items to make you more powerful. Thus getting more gold. And the eventual objective is to destroy the enemy base. Games are usually between 20 minutes and 40 minutes. 20 minutes being more one-sided games. We've got three lanes. If you can tell on the map, we have a top lane, a mid lane, and a bottom lane. This is the bot lane we're looking at, now the top lane. The Rykon is our top laner. Nebula, freshman, is our mid laner. And then Javi and Paramore, our bot lane. As they have a little bit of a scuffle already. Javi playing the champion named Ash. They're more playing Bard, as I mentioned. On the other side, we have Amon playing Varus. Now we swap to the top lane again. Drykon playing Maokai. Mid lane. Nebula's playing a champion called Yoni. Fonza is on. A fun, interesting champion. Renata. Drake, I'm gonna do a little bit of a fight there. A little scuffle against Orn. Orn is the champion that Evozinator. Evozinator is on. Some good poke there. Got a little bit of a scuffle potentially down here in the bot lane. Gotta clear that ward. Nebio doing a little bit nice poke against the Syndra. Paramore doing a little bit of poking, just being kind of annoying and pushing this uh, enemy bot lane back a little bit. He can't feel safe when he's around. Poke there by Javi. As they continue to poke this Missouri Western bot lane back in a corner. A nice stun there by Bard. Duraikon getting collapsed on here. We got the Blue Kong. Who is the jungler? Smurflax. Came up to the top lane to do a little damage. Paramore is poking this Missouri Western bot lane out, kind of de denying them from getting experience.
Carm now in the bot lane, trying to relieve some of the pressure that uh, Florida Southern has put on this Missouri Western bot lane for almost the entire game so far. Dragowski is the jungler for Florida Southern on champion named Udir. Scuffle down there. First blood goes down for Missouri Western. Solo kill in the top lane as Duraikon is killed. Nebula gonna go under the turret and pick up a kill on the Syndra. We do see quite a bit of a CS lead here for Florida Southern when we look at the bot lane and the mid lane. Bot lane that Ash has 58 farm versus Varus is 37, now 38. Pretty significant difference there. And Nebula is up at 70 farm versus the 44 of the Syndra. The advantage for Missouri Western right now is definitely in the top lane with a kill and a 17 CS lead. Not sure how imp how uh, beneficial it is to have your uh, lead be the Orn, but it's a lead nonetheless when the rest of the, the map is trying to keep up. This Orn has a two level lead on this uh, Maokai. Guy's definitely gonna struggle. Getting some farm in there. A nice stun there by Paramore. Doesn't quite convert anything. With that, looks like Florida Southern's gonna take that Rift Herald. Continue. Continue building up somewhat of a lead in the rest of the map. Taking as much gold and denying as much gold as possible. Javi. Horn is going to go in on the Maokai, but has to back off after kind of throws everything he had. Nebula does not know that he is in vision here, getting collapsed on. A nice switcheroonie there as Nebula picks up some kills. Now Udir picks up two kills. Ash picks up a kill. I believe the Bard actually picked up a kill there. Yoni with a nice turnaround there. It looks pretty rough for Nebula, but turned it around in a great team fight there by Florida Southern. Drycon. Drycon gets picked off and killed again. Unfortunate. 
the Javi in the bot lane is going to pick up a kill on this Ferris after a Bartle. Nebio getting stunned by the Syndra. Nebula with a very large farm lead right now. 36 CS. Drugowski farming extremely efficiently against this Wukong. And so is Javi. Javi's up 38 CS at this point and two kills on this bot lane. Florida Southern currently with a 4K gold lead at 11 minutes. Good six kills versus the two of Missouri Western. Looks like Florida Southern's looking at this dragon. Gonna try to pick up that second one. They picked up the first. Florida Southern knows where Wukong is. They're letting their team know. They know they have time on this dragon. Missouri Western is guessing that Florida Southern is on that dragon, and they would be correct. Florida Southern picks up dragon number two. Nice, Bardal is probably going to pick off his Syndra, and it does. Florida Southern picking up that kill. Renata throwing down and all, but Yoni going to throw down his. And this looks like it's going to be another kill for Florida Southern, and it is. Dragowski picks up another one. Can't quite convert that last kill. They're looking at potentially diving as Varus misses the ult. Yoni there to pick up the kill. Just about 13 minutes into this one. Florida Southern with a nice 7K gold lead sitting pretty. Taking what they can across the map. Orn, the only one on Missouri Western with some kills. As the team tries to collapse on this, on Dragowski, throwing everything at Dragowski and Duraikon, but both are going to get away. Turret plating will fall. Horn going to try to continue to. Fight on this Maokai. Dragowski going to see that ward and clear it. As he goes to reset, spend some of that gold. Nebula looking for a kill on this Varus, potentially. And he gets it. Nebula, three kills. Rift Herald is going to spawn again in just under 10 seconds as Dragowski paths to the top side of his jungle, looking at that Rift Herald as a potential neutral objective to take. He's going to start it right on spawn. Nebula going in on this Wukong. And going to pick up that kill. Wukong is not allowed to farm in his own jungle. Nebula looking to go deep, potentially. Bard alting the turret to allow his team to dive. Javi picking up another kill there, that time on Varus. Orn going for a fight on this Maokai. Draikon 
This is that gets out of that alt. This bard is fighting this Wukong and doing fairly well with it. Now looking at an 11K gold lead for Florida Southern. 16 minutes into game, number one of this best of three series against Missouri Western. Salt there by Ash gonna allow Nebula to pick up a kill. Back and forth fighting here between the Orn and Maokai. That time coming out pretty even as Dragowski now looks to pick up Drake number three for Florida Southern College. Orn and Maokai fighting. Here comes the Bard. Gonna help out this Maokai potentially. A flash by Orn is going to flash into Javi, but Javi now getting collapsed on a little bit here. Wukong going to have to flash away. Paramore going straight at the team. Alt comes out. Renata is going to get caught here. But Renata goes down to Dragowski. Dragowski now six kills. Zero deaths. As Florida Southern starts taking down turrets and collapsing towards this Missouri Western base. Southern takes down that inhibitor turret. As we get the spectator bug at the great time. Florida Southern initiating a team fight there. We have a quadra kill by Dragowski. Can't quite get the penta kill because Orn will run back into the base. Nebula taking down another inhibitor. Now Florida Southern taking down Nexus turrets. Gonna have to reset here. Gonna pick up actually a couple uh, in hit turrets. Potentially last in hit. No, nope, they're gonna back out. Reset. Got a lot of gold to spend. Playing it safe. Dragowski now ten kills for for uh, for this Udir. Florida Southern with twenty kills total for the team. Only two deaths. This Yoni Nebula has been farming great. 220 farm at 19 minutes. Very good. Not to mention the five kills he also has. Florida Southern looking to position and set up for a Baron kill, potentially right off of spawn almost, as they start that Baron. Missouri Western trying to get as much, uh, as many resources in their own jungle as they can before Florida Southern denies those. Not sure Missouri Western can even contest this Baron. They are 
are not going to be able to do it even though Wukong tries to do something. Renata gets caught in the Bardol. Going to go down. That's two kills for Florida Southern. In addition to getting the Baron buff. Now pushing into this Missouri Western base. Yoni going in very far. Syndra goes down. Ferris goes down. Now they turn their attention to the last member of Missouri Western that's up. That is Orn. Orn goes down. Florida Southern taking down the Nexus turrets as some of the members of this Missouri Western team quit the match early. Florida Southern takes game number one in 21 minutes and 13 seconds. And now we turn our attention to game number two in this best of three series. We'll be right back.
Shall I turn in my badge and rifle as well? I shall do. No spark between us anyway. I will wait for you to be better. Gotcha. Shall I turn in my badge and rifle as well? I shall do. No spark between us anyway. I will wait for you to be better.
And we are back in game number two of this series between Florida Southern College and Missouri Western State University. We've got a nice little uh, shindig potentially here in the bot lane. This is going to be interesting. A 5v4. Flash away. Dragowski going to get picked off. Oh, first blood going for Missouri Western. That is a great start for the Griffins. Florida Southern not quite ready for that one. Only sent four of their players. Maokai went top. Missouri Western going to... Hopefully, be excited about that one. The kill going on to the Gwen, which in the last game was uh, what was the lane that they got a, a lead in throughout the game. So we'll see um, if that translates. Uh, that Gwen picks up the Dark Seal, which is going to allow that Gwen to get an additional bump on AP damage based on how many kills that Gwen gets without dying or assists. Potentially really good item for this top laner if uh, they perform like they performed last game. But only time will tell. In the bot lane we have this Ash. But this time this Ash is is on the, the support Paramore. Paramore is going to be playing this Ash. And uh, Varus is uh, Javi's pick for the ADC against a Thresh and a Sivir for Missouri Western. They did The teams did not switch sides. Florida Southern still blue side this game. Missouri Western red. In the mid lane, we have Nebula playing Zerath against uh, Annie for Missouri Western. In the jungle, we have Graves for Jagrowski. That's going to be a pretty heavy damage dealer. And we have Belvath for Missouri Western. And then the top lane, we've already mentioned the Gwen for Missouri Western. Maokai was the pick for Duraikon. Same champion as Duraikon played in game number one. Definitely a different, uh, different team composition. A lot less tank for um, Florida Southern is versus game number one. We had that Udir in the jungle and that Bard in the bot lane. Had a little bit more beef when it came to that Udir and the Maokai. Uh, not so much this game, but Missouri Western didn't pick uh, too much beef as well. Belvath can get pretty beefy. I'm assuming this Gwen is going to go pretty straight to uh, AP. Looking to hopefully... Um, Output a significant amount of damage. I can only assume. With that first blood kill, every other player on Missouri Western got an assist. A nice grab there by Thresh. Going to pick up two kills. Belvath, Missouri Western coming out. Straight out of the gates. Real strong. Double kill for Belvath. That is three assists now for Sivir and three for Thresh. As they are both back, reset, spend that gold, try to get back to lane. Missouri Western might be looking very strong on the kill side of the game right now, but as we look at the farm difference, we already see a significant advantage for Ford Southern in the mid lane, almost double the more than double the farm. Uh, and then bot lane, even though... They just died. Varus does have a 10 CS lead on this Sivir. And when we look at it at only four and a half minutes in, that lead will grow exponentially if they keep the same advantage. This Zerath picking up a little bit of gold there, taking it from Belvath and Missouri Western. Missouri Western having a 700 gold lead. Thresh made a journey to the top lane, tried to make something happen, but the uh, timing was just a bit off. Now Gwen from Missouri Western is going to be able to freeze this lane and deny some CS for Duraikon. Duraikon going to try to break this freeze, potentially. 
Does not want this Gwen to deny a lot of farm as Florida Southern looking to dive for her members of Florida Southern on a bot lane gets the kill on the Sivir as Thresh is away in the mid lane. Drycon having to flash away from this Gwen. Paramore resetting. As he was low health. Now Drogowski taking that dragon. Javi. Doing some farming. Going to crash this wave. And then probably look for a reset. There he goes. Drogowski might be struggling a little bit on this dragon. Javi's going to have to come up and help. Drogowski's looking very low. Thrash. Backs away, not sure if he saw the dragon or if he saw Varus. As Belvath gonna deny a little bit of the jungle of Dragowski. Dragowski's gonna back after that dragon and probably head to the top lane as his blue is about to respawn. He's probably gonna see this Belvath has taken the rest of his jungle. Belvath really making a difference so far in this game. Picked up that double kill in the bot lane and now denying some of this farm and jungle for Dragowski and now is going to get a fight gank off in this top lane Belvath picking up another kill this time on Duraikon Belvath getting very large three kills right now Have, has a shutdown gold bounty 300 gold up in farm with three kills. The unfortunate part on that, though, is that they lost the first dragon. Which hopefully does not uh, come back to bite them. As it seems to be a very strong part of Florida Southern's game is getting these neutral objectives early on. Especially when they have uh, leads uh, across the map. Thresh is doing a lot of... Wandering around the map, I think what they might, uh, Missouri Western might have uh, realized is that having a support in the bot lane doesn't really help when their bot lane is so unevenly matched. Potentially uh, moving that Thresh into more of a wandering role to find opportunities for their team to, to find kills across the map in other ways. Fresh coming to the middle here. Paramore's there, though. A nice timing there for Florida Southern with a little bit of a counter gank, if you will. Zareth now has a 30 CS lead on this Annie, which will continue to be tough for Annie to stick in it. Zareth did pick up that uh, Dark Seal. I mean, if you're if you're Nebula in this matchup, going off of game number one, I think that's a really smart move. With only two members of Florida Southern dying, you have a lot of opportunity potentially to get kills and stack up that Dark Seal. Some nice poke there by Nebula, continuing to, to apply the pressure. Maokai. Blue team picks up the Rift Herald. A nice steal there by Dragowski. And he misses the ultimate, goes down, a shutdown there for Belvath, and a kill on Thresh. Now Gwen trying to get the kill on Nebula, trying to make it happen, can't quite do it. Florida Southern picks up a fourth kill, and in the bot lane, Javi picks up the fifth, and that is an ace for Florida Southern. When you think Florida Southern is really struggling because of a quick early lead from Missouri Western, they get it right back. Florida Southern looking strong again. Team fighting continues to be an extremely strong part of Florida Southern's gameplay. We saw in the fall that early game was definitely not Florida Southern's strong suit. Maybe we're seeing a little bit of that again today. A nice shutdown there onto Nebula from the Belvath. Belvath picks up a fourth kill. This Belvath is building straight AD. 
looking to output as much damage as possible as Gwen building straight AP. Could be a good combo there in terms of damage output. As the rest of the map, uh, Missouri Western's finding quite a bit of a deficit when it comes to, to gold. Dragowski going to put down this Rift Herald that he stole right in the mid lane. Ferris going to help him push it. This could be a uh, first turret on the side of Florida Southern. And it will be as Rift Herald pushes down, charges that mid turret. Zareth goes to the bot lane. Going to farm up a little bit. Maokai getting poked down a little bit here as well. Paramore going to clear this vision as Dragon is about to spawn in five seconds. Nebula two levels up on the Sivir, putting down quite a bit of poke. Hits that, now ulting and picks up the kill on Sivir. Nebula not giving this Sivir a chance to get away. Sivir goes down a third time in this game. Zareth has a significant amount of lane clearing, which is going to put a ton of pressure on the bot side of this map as Florida Southern picks up a second dragon here. 12 minutes into game number two. This is a best of three series. If Florida Southern wins this game, they do take the series. Sorry, Western needs to pick up two game wins for it to go their way. Missouri Western and Florida Southern are both 1-0. As I mentioned earlier, Missouri Western came out with their series 2-1 against Montevallo. wonder if that was, I can take a look, it might have been the only series last week to go to three games. I would not be surprised. No, it looks like Kennesaw versus North Georgia also went to the three games with North Georgia taking down Kennesaw, which was at least from last spring's uh, teams and results was a massive upset. North Georgia taking down the third place team from last spring, Kennesaw State University. See how that plays out throughout the rest of the season if it was a massive upset or if Kennesaw just isn't quite where they were last year. We'll see. I've heard a lot of good things about this North Georgia roster this year. As we turn our attention back here to Rikon getting hit down. Three members of Missouri Western on the top side can't quite kill Darikon. Darikon getting away with a sliver of health. That's all you need. All you need is one health, actually. And he had plenty to spare if we look at it that way. Paramore and Javi shift their focus to the top lane as Florida Southern has picked up the outer turrets in the other two lanes. Florida Southern picking up as much gold as they can across the map, and that means rotating, picking up what they can in the easiest way they can. Three members of Missouri Western are on this top side of the map. They're going to have to be careful. Florida Southern does not have a front liner on the top side of this map. It's two, uh, two ADC champions. Two AD champions, if you will. You do have a slow with Paramore and an alt. If it's up, yeah, uh, yes. And that alt, actually two alts, both of them have alts that would uh, stun champions that do something. Javi throws that alt out. Doesn't quite get that Sivir. Actually, I believe that Sivir uh, cleansed. Yes, cleansed the Ash Alt and then used her shield to avoid the Maokai stun. And a flash that's going to be both of Sivir's summoner spells next time. She's not going to be able to get away twice as easy. <laughs> and there it is. A stun there by Zarath. Going to pick up the kill. Nebula now 4-1. As we shift our focus back to the top lane, Florida Southern not going to push too hard on this top tower as they know that Missouri Western is in the top side of this map. Red 
There we go. Missouri Western picks up. Um, excuse me. Florida Southern picks up that top turret. Both alts from Florida Southern go out, but not going to be enough as Javi goes down. Four members of Missouri Western on this top side of this map. Missouri Western definitely uh, sticking together as a team. Going to look to uh, engage on a fight here as Belvath goes in. Dragowski putting down some damage. Paramore putting down some damage. Now Missouri Western is all low as Nebula picks up a kill with an ultimate. Dragowski having to flash away. Zerath picks up a double kill. Oh, going to potentially get a triple. Does get the triple kill. Sivert escaping with a sliver of health here. Gwen trying to go back. Ash throwing out an ult. Misses the Sivir just barely from Paramore. Dragowski and Florida Southern going to pick up this Rift Herald after a scuffle there. Not quite sure if Missouri Western wanted to really fight that. Instead of, uh, I think they should have just backed off taking Rift Herald. Kind of, they had the they had the spacing for Rift, but continued to push through, which got them caught and allowed Florida Southern to pick up a nice couple kills. This Zerath looking exceptionally strong. Up 70 farm against the Annie. Seven kills so far. A bounty of 600 gold. No one else has significant kill leads for Florida Southern. But, uh, I mean, that's all right when you're picking up objectives and your CS is pretty good. If we look at a gold lead, we got about a 7k gold lead for Florida Southern. Belvath is in the area. This isn't going to be a free dragon for Florida Southern, although Paramore is going to do some bit of there. And uh, Dragowski wins that smite. Belvath goes down and misses the smite. Unfortunate. Probably not worth fighting that. An alt there by Paramore. Going to slow down. Actually uh, allowing Missouri Western to turn the fight around, picking up a kill on Paramore. Dragowski now getting rushed down a little bit. Barely escaping as Javi trying to pick up a kill, getting just torn to pieces by this Sivir, or this uh, Gwen, but doesn't quite do it. Now Nebula gonna pick up a kill. Potentially no, Javi gonna take that kill. Zara throwing down the ultimate and gets the kill onto Sivir. Nine kills now for Zerath. I'll be doing some farming in this mid lane. Ha! Nebula pushing down this bot turret. Florida Southern now 10k gold lead with these objectives. Florida Southern going to reset here. Spend their gold, it looks like. Nebula taking their uh, the enemy blue buff. Denying some of that gold and resources from Missouri Western. Florida Southern does a really great job against these teams, just suffocating the resources as we get it kicked out here. Spectator stuff again. Apologies. It's fun stuff. Florida Southern, like as I was saying, they they do a really good job in the Peach Belt, just suffocating these teams out of resources throughout the game. Paramore throwing out an ult just to escape. Successfully does so. Zerath 9-1 right now. 192 CS. Zerath is just looking absolutely massive. And he gets an opportunity to clear some of this vision. Take back a little bit of their jungle as Florida Southern has reset. This Baron is spawning in under 10 seconds. This is probably the objective that Florida Southern is gonna be looking at. As they clear some of this vision and try to take back some more space in the jungle of Missouri Western, they're gonna drop this Rift Herald, which is probably gonna take the attention from Missouri Western towards the mid lane and allow Florida Southern to sneak this Baron 
I don't know if anyone, if uh, Missouri Western would be surprised by this. I don't know if it's a sneak, but it does uh, alleviate some of the pressure. Zareth. Oh my goodness, the damage is insane by Nebula. Completely takes out this Belvath with one ultimate. It's crazy. As now Annie is getting caught. Nebula just erases Annie as well. Florida Southern now with the Baron buff is going to put a ton of pressure on this Missouri Western team. And nice engage there by Maokai. The amount of damage this Florida Southern team puts out is crazy. Another kill there. That one on Siver. Now Inhib going down in the mid lane. Florida Southern has Baron buff. Enough to clear this wave. Not quite sure how much more they can push here if they're going to continue to do so. A nice alt there. A kill. Another kill. Javi picking up that one on Thresh. Double kill for Graves as Gwen goes down. A flash kill. Ash goes down. A triple kill for Graves. And now they shift their focus to the Nexus as Florida Southern, this Zareth is absolutely crazy. 12 and one, Florida Southern gonna take game number two and the series two to zero. Florida Southern moves to two and zero oh in the Peach Belt. And now they shift their attention to next week's matchup against Manavalo. Thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you next week. Go Mox.